ELG in Duisburg is one of the largest companies recycling high-grade steel. It transports trainloads of scrap to steel plants across Europe. Joachim Lüning is production manager. Carola Panka, a buyer for ELG, is always on the lookout for new sources of scrap metal. Lüning brings his delivery in person to the Witten steel plant. As you see, your scrap is just arriving. It will be loaded up and taken to be melted down. I think we'll be ready in half an hour. We're making good time. Everything's moving smoothly. We can take another look from above. Let's give it a visual control and then start reloading. Okay. The Deutsche Edelstahlwerke, or DEW, produces stainless steel solely from scrap. It processes 45,000 tons per month. We delivered 16 freight cars full. Three of the cars are selected at random. The scrap from them is melted down and the result is considered representative of the entire train. The chromium and nickel content determines the price we get for the scrap. The scrap is melted in an electric arc furnace. Each batch contains 130 tons. Scrap is melted here around the clock. Electrodes heat the oven to more than 3,000 degrees Celsius. New steel from old. So, Mr. Looning, let's see if the analysis is finished. Loading was no problem, and the melting went fine as expected. No difficulties. Now, the lab did its job, and the analyses are here. And if we compare, the chromium looks perfect. Nickel is good. The phosphorus value is 31. That's very good. If I compare that with the values I expected, they correspond very well. Chromium 16.3, nickel 7.7. Overall demand is very high because there's a limited amount of scrap, especially for us because we place high standards on certain kinds of scrap. We don't take just any scrap. We need to find very clean, specially selected types of scrap, especially gathered for us. The plant produces more than 600 different alloys for industrial uses, such as aircraft and car manufacturing. Carola Panka is negotiating to pick up scrap from a steel foil producer. Here you can see how the strip is cut for our clients. The foil company's manager wants to sell off his plant's waste. He'll get about 2,600 euros for a ton of scrap. About how much would that be per month? I'd say at least 30 tons a month. And you'd pick it up from here. That's in the end from Weizgerüst. This scrap is high-grade steel, just like factory fresh. The recycling company couldn't ask for more. The scrap here is ideal. We know precisely what we're getting. Its composition is unchanging and it's always carefully stored. In some other scrap yards, other materials are sometimes thrown in, but here definitely not. In the future, ELG will be picking up the foil company's waste. Kawola Panka is happy. The deal is wrapped up to the mutual satisfaction of both parties. Final logistical details will be clarified by telephone. Okay. 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 Okay.
At the scrapyard in Duisburg, Joachim Luning is overseeing the loading and packaging of the next sale. A steel plant in Taiwan has placed an order for a container shipment of scrap. The demand for rust-free stainless steel scrap has grown enormously in recent years. We used to concentrate on European producers, but for several years now we've also exported to the Far East. Last year, about 30 million tons of stainless steel were produced all over the world. It's a booming business, and the ELG company is part of the boom.